Hello, me gente. It's your girl, Tori, indeed, live on Vibe to Vibe UNTV, where the vibe is real. I have my very special guest, Ecom Bulldog, all the way from the West Coast. <laughs> hello, hello. How you doing? How you doing? Hey, first of all, thank you for having me on, Tori. Uh, it's 11 o'clock where I'm at on the West Coast. I'm in California. I live in Corona, California. But uh, thank you for having me on, for sure. Oh, no. Thank you for your time and really for taking this opportunity to drop gems, tell me what you do, and let others know about the course that you offer to, would you call it financial freedom or being your own boss? How would you uh, word it? Good, good, good. Uh, good question. I think it's more of like a, another passive stream of income. Oh, I love that. So, you know, there's that quote, it, um, a millionaire has seven sources, sources of, income. of income. Yeah, seven okay. sources of income for sure. So I like um, how you worded that, that it's one of the many things you could do, right? Yeah, I would. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't personally starting off. I wouldn't rely on it. I would just add it as another source and then use that to, to build up your your ultimately, hopefully, seven sources or even more. Yes, yes. That actually is that actually makes me dive into your background because I know, um, correct me if I'm wrong, you were attending college, you were working and obsessively watching YouTube videos, trying to figure this out and investing in yourself to get to where you're actually at now. So I think growing up being like, you know, I'm, I'm Peruvian. That's my background. Me too. Uh, <laughs> oh, awesome. 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 <laughs> I don't really know that many Peruvians, but, uh, yeah. So, being Peruvian, I think growing up, the ultimate Latino dream is go to a nice prestige college, get a nice job, uh, you know, invest some money maybe in the stock market. And, uh, you know, that's it. That's pretty much what I was growing up and everyone kind of showcased. And I was like, I went back to school because I had kids. But ultimately, I always had that entrepreneur in me. You're was, Peruvian. That's why. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So my mom, I think when I was little, she would just give me a duvalin to sell in school. <laughs> yeah, so that that kind of started. I think I was selling for like 25 cents. And then she gave me these bands, like you slap them oh, on your yeah. hand. Yeah. Yeah. So she would give me those because she's really the, you know, entrepreneur and kind of gave me that, that momentum. That mindset. To, yeah. She definitely is super hardworking. And that's where I get my work ethic. Like, wow. she literally had my brother, her last day, going to her office. And, like, you know, he was almost, bo almost born in the office. But, uh, yes, I don't want to sidetrack, so. Uh, <laughs> yeah, super, so. super relatable to um, me and my family, you know, as my mindset as an entrepreneur and um, trying things and taking risks. Life gets real, and there's real life struggles. And despite all that, you beat those obstacles and... Even in the beginning, it took you about five months for your first sale. Yeah, so I, I first started um, on Shopify. I was, while going to school, um, I was investing a lot of time, you know, in homework, but also YouTube and, 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 and seeing because a lot of these YouTubers made it look so easy. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. I'm just like... Oh wow! I can just put an item online, and it'll just sell. And uh, you know, I got slapped in the face many times because it wasn't that easy. I was focusing on the wrong. I guess I was focusing on the how my website looked. What I really should be focusing on is Facebook ads and the product. But I right. found out along the way, and it took me five months to get my first sale. But I did it while being in college. So for me, it was like, oh, my God, I got my first sale. And I got addicted to getting more sales and more sales. So the one product that did it for me, and it was kind of like my wake-up product, um, it was a phone case. And it had the devil horns. And it had the mirror in the back. Oh, i seen those. Yeah. So that was like, I was the one that first introduced that product and then a lot of people then piggybacked it and made it their own so um that product why was it so i guess why did it stand out could you go to walmart and get that product 
No. Most likely not. No. Yeah, yeah. Did it fix a problem? Yeah, because it had the mirror in the back. Mm. The girls can probably do their makeup and then not yep. get their compost or something, right? Now, Take a selfie. The devilish, <laughs> yeah. And then the devilish horn, because it was that, during that time, I think it was 2015, or no, 2006, uh, 2016, 17, um, it was that little devilish scene, right, where everyone, every yeah. girl was kind of like a devilish boss or, or whatever, so that's why that uh, phone case was so, so much of a hit. And uh, after my first sale, it just kind of like it was a domino um, effect at that point. Oh yeah, yeah, it was it was great. It was great because my first week after that, I think I did four hundred, and then I I went into that and a thousand, and it just moved up. I, the highest week I ever had was four thousand, and then ultimately that one phone case uh, made one hundred and twenty k in sales. Though in sales, I don't want people to get misconstrued with. 120k, yeah, that was not even in my pocket. No, so 120k, and then I spent about 35,000 on Facebook ads, and that's what's something that I was like, man, I can't believe I paid this much to make this much, but ultimately I was making sales while not being physically present. Right. So, um, just to kind of take it back a little bit, I know you mentioned that YouTubers um, make it seem easy, right? And, um, oh, yeah, just throw a product on there, blah, 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 right? Took you five months. Cool. Let's fast forward a little bit about your course. So in your course, um, do you go over the things the YouTubers leave out? Because obviously they, they tell you things, but they don't tell you what's in between the lines. True, true. So so let's go backtrack a little bit. Because remember, I was I started in Shopify, and what killed me and maybe what didn't make me make 200K was the fact that I didn't want to continue with Facebook ads. Mm. Me putting okay. in, I guess back then, I didn't understand, like, look, you have to spend more so you can get more. And I wasn't trying to, uh, I guess, believe that. Right. I thought I could make a certain amount with even spending less. And I, no one should get caught up with that kind of information. You have to spend more to make more, and that right. everyone says. So, could I possibly make in two fifty if I would have spent sixty grand? I think so. But huh. um, the problem I was having, and this is what I want to tell everyone: once you drop ship, and I was drop shipping from China, so my the lead time. Were, oh my god, my products were coming in like. In, at first, obviously, in the, in the beginning, beginning, it was like taking like 17 days. People oh. were just complaining. I'm upset. And then, Which and then I, brought it, I brought it down. I brought it down to uh, to 12 days. And then even then, people weren't happy because of Amazon. You know, Amazon, you order a product, and like, boom, it's there in like three, four days. Yeah. So I couldn't compete with Amazon. And that's why, just to jump forward to your question... I jumped into Amazon. I got a mentor. I got a coach. I got a course, and to accelerate the process because I already understood the drop shipping model. I just wanted to do it on the Amazon platform because it was so big. Wow! So, so in my, I, I'm sorry. Yeah, so in my oh, course, sorry. in my course, I didn't want to. Uh, I pretty much lay everything. I lay everything. All all the four years of drop shipping in general. But for the most part, all the mistakes I did on Amazon, I, I, I'm i transparent. I show everything on how you can do it without making these mistakes. Because there's five principles in doing so. And uh, it's just, if you follow those five steps, you're, you're, you're going to succeed. Okay. So you mentioned you invested in yourself. You got a mentor. Um, and that's actually what you encourage people to do, to take a course, do personal development, get coaching. So those are things I know because I personally follow you on social media. And I know that you really enforce that, really encor encourage that because you also have done that too. So it's not like you just did this on your own. You actually made yourself knowledgeable. You obtained information. You use resources. And I feel like you are paying it forward to others, including myself, because I'm interested. 
Um, but that that is a great mindset to put in someone that may look up to you or look at you as a role model or a mentor. So I definitely love, 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 love that. Um, and um, you are mentioning numbers. You know, you got to spend a little more to make more. And that's where I want to quote you. Your network is your net. I'm sorry. Your network is your net work. Oh, God, I'm tongue twisted. <laughs> no, no, no. Network equals your net worth. Network. And, uh, <laughs> there you go. And, <laughs> so you just quoted so yourself. <laughs> a lot of people want to make a certain amount of money a month. Mm -hmm. And it's because they're not hanging around with those type of people. Oh, my God. If gosh. you want to make you know, $10,000 a month, you have, you have to hang around with people that are making that kind of money or else you're going to be in that, in that rat race and that struggle where everyone's in the same circle. Right. Right. A lot of people hang out with certain people because they're the ones that make them feel good. If I'm the best one in my group, people are going to be like, Oh man, look at Santiago. He's doing good. So they make me feel good, but I don't want to be the smartest or most successful person in the room. You don't want to do that. Right. You don't want to be the smartest or the richest because you want to keep leveling up. You know, yeah. it's not a competition. It's just that it's more motivation, encouragement. You know, if we all win, we're all going to keep growing. Um, and I, yes, I love yes. that. I don't want to be the smartest person in the room. I don't want to be the richest person in the room. I totally, totally agree with that. Um, you always want to get better. I mean, I think I'm in competition with myself, but I just want to be better than yesterday. Ooh, you know, I'm on the same page. We all, we all fall. We all fall to like some dark times where everyone gra glamorizes the word entrepreneurship, but there's a lot of struggle behind it. You can have a good day, a good week, and then the next two weeks, you feel like you're not accomplishing anything, right? And then that's how people, sometimes they give up or they go back to a nine to five. Like my nine to five, I didn't get no two weeks. Why? Because I didn't want to come back. You know what wow. I mean? A lot of people want that like, um, Mike, uh, Andy Priscilla said this, don't have a plan B, right? Have your plan A, execute, yeah. and then don't go back to where it all started because that's going to mess you up. Right. And I know most people was like, well, you didn't give your two weeks. And I go, I mean, I don't want to go back. I don't want to give my two weeks. I feel like I was getting mentally drained at my workplace. Every time I went there, people were, like, not happy. And I, I know like, that oh, feeling. I need to get out of that element. Right, and, uh, right. The thing that I'm building is just for one, since I'm a veteran, right? My idea, my thought process was like, there's a lot of veterans that, yeah, they do suffer from PTSD. They don't want to get out the house. So they can do something while being at home because all you need is a laptop to do your e commerce. I mean, literally, that's all you need. Obviously, a laptop, good resources, maybe the right coach or mentor, whoever. Right. I mean, that's not really you need, but I wanted to really help veterans because I know the veteran community needs it. And me being a veteran, that's where the name Econ Bulldog comes from. I was just going to say that. Oh, you took my question away, but you already answered it. <laughs> no, no. Yeah. So the Marine Corps, the mascot of the Marine Corps is a bulldog. Mm -hmm. So I said, hey, you know what? When I did this e-commerce stuff, my name before Instagram or when I started Instagram it was called it was called Bulldog Sweat. I was like on this fitness rampage, but that's another story. And, uh, <laughs> we'll get to it one day. <laughs> every time I, I I you know I sweat, it's like bulldog, right? Because the bulldog is in me. And then when I went into e-commerce, I was like, okay, it's cool. Like e-com cool. bulldog. <laughs> e-com bulldog. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So I didn't honestly, and I tell everyone this. Sometimes you do things you don't know they're going to turn into a brand. You're just going to do it, execute, and you know, don't look back. But um, I, I like where I'm at. I'm still, I think I'm obviously never happy. I want to go to a certain point, And, you know, my goal is to make seven figures this year and then bring 500 students into uh, into the community. Wow. And now I have about 110. That's so, amazing. I saw that you even got your mom up and running, or she got herself up and running on e-com and made money real quickly. Yeah, yeah. You know? So my mom, um, because she owned a travel agency. That, that's her mainly bread and butter. Oh, she's uh, the of, Connect. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So she's got a lot of Peruvian 
you know, people uh, hitting her up because they want to go to Peru I and Comidas and all that. Shout out to her, Overson Travel. But, uh, hey. but, uh, but yeah, yeah. So, uh, when the pandemic hit, everything, you know, my mom's business went down. Right. But this is why I want to share this story because it shows you that when something closes, you have to pivot and do something else. So, and, I, and I'll share this with you guys. Hopefully, anyone can connect with this. So her travel agency shut down, right? No, no, you couldn't fly. You couldn't, Sorry, like, you know, anything. Office had to close down. So what she did, dude, my mom has never, like, I can count the many times she's cooked for me. Because she's a businesswoman. She's cooked for me five times. And my whole, like, growing up. With this pandemic, she started cooking and started making Peruvian food oh, and started, started, started selling like uh, 10, 15 plates a day. So she would get that money and obviously every day use it towards her rent or whatever. So to me, I'm like, damn, mom, you're, you're you know, you're hustling. So what can I do as a, uh, as a son? I was like, look, mom, I got to get your marketing up. I got to get your, an Amazon store. So I did that. And uh, within the first, I think, two months, she made 20, I forgot now, but now 2014. I saw it. Yeah. She but, uh, a, good, a good amount. Yeah. she In profits, she made about 8000 but now she's already tripled that. Yeah. Wow. So she's, she's in a good position. I'm happy I was able to help her out on the e-commerce side. I want to get to a level where I retire her, and I think everyone should be at that goal, right? You want to retire your parents. And uh, just so she can travel as much as she can on, on you know, on a, our dime. So that's, that's the least I can do for her, what she's done for, you know, for me and, and my family. So definitely uh, I encourage that. But uh, That's very admirable. And um, let's refer, everybody's shouting you out in the chat room. We do have a chat room going on. And um, people are saying. Oh, I didn't, I didn't even know that. Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. We have some feedback. Um, love it. Great interview. Oh my God. Great interview. Dope. Um, let's see. Oh, somebody said, what up Econ Bulldog? The real deal here. Salute to my mentor. A must follow on IG. <laughs> so everybody's just going out there. Oh, thank you. you. Thank you. Appreciate um, it. Thank you. We're going to drop your, we already been displaying your Instagram on the screen. And um, oh, nice. so I'm going to throw it up there. Be sure to follow him. Econ Bulldog. You know, your vibe is really good, too. And um, shout out to your mom. I want to be on your level, her level. And, um, you know, we've been communicating or whatnot, and we discussed the course. So we can kind of get right into it. I know you go over everything you need to know, the right to sell, and um, how to get well, sales, even within a few days. So oh, I want to get really, I want, really, really I wanna impressive. Share. I want to share with you something real quick. So... This is real, and this being transparent, 7% of people that get a course finish watching it. So 7%. So everyone that's buying a course, think of that. Only 7% finish it. 3% actually execute. How my course is different, and I want to share that with anyone here, is that the Discord and the team I have is flawless. If you have a question and you drop it in our Discord, it will get answered within like at least an hour at the most. I've never seen um, no question get out that get not answered. So when you start something, you want to do it with a group of people that are also doing it. So, so not only are true. you giving, I'm sorry, not only no, are you giving a course, dropping gems, but you have created a network of support group. A yes, exactly. Wow. Yes, 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 yes. So that's, I, I really, I'm more passionate about the support group than the actual course. Right, because, and you do take the time to talk to people yourself. Yeah, I think they're the, they, they believe in you. You should give them that much value, right? I think I uh, that. a lot of people that buy courses, you've never uh, got to talk to the guy that, you know, I guess put you on in a sense. I'm still, the, the, the guys that put me on, I still haven't talked to the main guy. And I've reached out to him, thanking him, like, hey, I appreciate you for letting me see a different side of things. And I've DM'd him. He's never reached out. I, like, I've done a video with his 
his co-partner. And even then, like, no, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Maybe because I grew my own following. Maybe, I don't know. Sometimes, so you know, unfortunately, sometimes when you reach your mentor's level, they kind of see you now as competition. And it shouldn't be like that. They should be proud of you. They should actually speak about you. Like, you know what? Here is proof of my mentorship. And now we're all here and he's bringing up other people to this um, stability, another source of income. I think that, uh, so I, I, part of my course that I, I, I guess I haven't mentioned, in, in, in the course, when you buy the course, you get the, I do a weekly Zoom with all the students. So I get on, I get on there for about 30 minutes, 45 minutes, and we go over any issues they have. I stand behind that because I feel like everything we can cover in, in that weekly Zoom might be an issue they been must have been facing. Some people don't don't want to use a Discord. I don't know why they just don't want to. That's just them. But maybe the weekly Zoom is where they can engage or maybe ask a question, right? Wow. A lot, a lot of people DM me questions, and I'll screenshot it, and I'll throw it in the Discord. Because I don't want to water down the coaching just because you bought the course. All right, right. You know what I mean? And, and I get a lot know, of them. Someone may have I, the same question or be in the same exact situation. So I definitely love that it's an interactive course, and not only that, mentorship. Yes, yes, yes. So uh, we offer uh, different programs, but for the most part... The course, it's three hundred bucks, and then the mentorship, it's three to four thousand, depending if you're going with me or you're going with one of, one of my coaches. And then we have the one month program, which is a thousand dollars, and it's a once a week, more catered to you and your business model. Yeah. So there's something for everybody. Yeah, yeah. I think I think that's key. And then also a lot of people, hey, can we do a payment plan? And uh, just because, you know, let's say you have. 5000 to invest, I'm not going to put you on the coaching plan. I'd rather put you on the, like the one month program. Mm -hmm. So then you can use your capital and start buying product. Right. To have products. Right? Because a lot of people, they, they invest in the coaching and they're like, all right, when can you start? Well, I don't have money. I gave all my money to your coaching. And I'm like, you, you shouldn't be that way. Right. So that's why I'm like, I, I, I see what's everyone's best fit and I decide what program is best wow. for them. You're the real deal, because not any, not a lot of people would do that. Not a lot of people would do that. And how about the importance of branding? Branding yourself. I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good, great question. I think, uh, to me, like I, I posted this too. I, I had seen it, and like when you think of Starbucks branding, do you think of coffee or do you think of like joy and relaxation? Or you think of like Jeep? Do you think of fun and adventure or do you see a car so with me it's like i don't want to see like econ bulldog i don't want to see amazon i don't want you to think of amazon i want you to think of like entrepreneurship and you know what investing taking risk doing something else passive income that's what i want you to think when you think of econ bulldog because that you know some people think i'm selling you a course i'm not selling you a course i'm wow. selling you a mindset a and mindset that's a yeah, people struggle with that daily. Oh, I know. Yeah. I'm an entrepreneur. And I, um, I've been quoted because I say this all the time. I claim insanity because I believe in myself. Like, I'm crazy. I take risks. You know, I'm an entrepreneur. And when you yeah. mention branding and how you want Ecom Bulldog, when I think of Ecom Bulldog, that's exactly what I think about. I don't even link you to Amazon. I link you as a, a person that is a successful entrepreneur, a mentor, someone who is actually providing a lifestyle change, a mindset change. So I, I agree with you because I never associated you with Amazon. And that's Thank crazy. You. I didn't Appreciate realize you. that until you said it. That's crazy. That's branding. That's what you call branding. That's the, yeah, brand, branding is key. I mean, you got to like, I, I guess... You got to have emotion behind it. Like, why are they buying from you? Why? What? First of all, what are you selling? Okay. And and dive into more of that. What your brand is, people are going to buy regardless. Because what you stand for and, um, you know, what you're offering. And, yes, I, and absolutely. I give a shout out to my whole team. 
you know, Brands Ave, Raul, Oscar, Mickey, Wendy, everyone that's helped me because. Oh, Raul's in the chat. <laughs> oh, Raul, nice. He said nice, hashtag nice. facts. <laughs> so, so yeah, I mean, I think it, it takes a team for, for to help you out. I think this, you can't do it by yourself. And although you might motivate that team, they really motivate you. They might not know it, but they motivate you to, to, to go harder. That's right. That's right. So what are some things you want our viewers to know about you? Any fun facts you want to add in there before I let you go? Because I feel like I can talk to you forever. And as an entrepreneur, I know your time is valuable. So I won't take up too much more of your time. But throw out some, fa some fun facts about yourself or anything you'd like to promote. All right. Um, but yeah, yeah. Fun fact, I'm Peruvian. Everyone thinks I'm Dominican or, or something else. But yeah, yeah. I'm Peruvian too. We're in the house. We're in the house. Um, so yeah, I, I joined the Marines at seventeen. Oh wow! That's my mom fun. had to. Yeah, my mom had to sign for me. Um, I was going down this wrong path, hanging around some people that just wanted to destroy everything. Wow! And uh, it was kind of like, hey, if I didn't go to the Marine Corps, I'd probably be in a jail cell right now. And that's that's real. I mean, I was the one to always like follow. Really? Whatever they're doing, like whatever Not they're doing, either. I want to get in there. Yeah, I remember uh, when I was like 16, all my friends were shoplifting. I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to do it. And then all my friends did it. And then on the third time, the third store we go to, I'm gonna be like, okay, let me do it once. You guys got away with it already three times. Let me do it, and I get caught. So maybe that's for you. It wasn't meant for me, but, um, you know, getting caught, that that was kind of scary. But um, I, I I don't want to be in that predicament again. I, like I tell my kids, hey, if we, I'll buy anything for you or, or I'll teach you how to get it, but never steal. It's going to put you in a bad situation. Uh, let me see another fun fact. That's a good question. I mean. <laughs> it's just to get to know you and – yeah. Viewers with something to um, look for you. Feel free to drop your website. Um, I did throw up your Instagram up there. Ecombo. Yeah. So my website is www.ecombodogs.com. Plural. Because there's a team behind it. Don't you have something coming up in Florida? Is it? Yeah. Yeah. So we were gonna. Uh, well, we're still on the works of that. We want to host a mastermind in Florida on a yacht and. Uh, I'm going to partner up with Arturo um, Gambini, which is, you know, fun fact, he's also Peruvian. Yeah, so, hey, I mean, Peruvian taking care of business. So. Hell yeah. Uh, <laughs> we were going to do something at the end of May, uh, but I'm, I'm doing something with my team at the end of May. We're doing some paintball activity. So maybe I might have to push it to June, but I do. I do. Uh, that's one of my uh, manifestations. Okay. To, uh, to do a mastermind in Florida, which one of them was to do a mastermind period. And then I hosted my first mastermind uh, March 13th. Oh, congratulations. Anybody watching? Thank you. Thank you very much. Put something on video and put it on Instagram. It'll hold you accountable. I posted that video, not having any, not having any location, not one ticket sold. I didn't even know who the speakers were going to be. So I just did that on, on camera. I was like, look guys, I'm hosting a mastermind event uh, March 13th. Hope to see you there. And, uh, you know, I was in Vegas and I got my first student. Shout out to Nino. And uh, he called me up and goes, hey, man, I'm interested in the mastermind. And uh, he paid me Zell that first. And I was like, man, now I got to now I got to execute even harder. So, uh, But you did it. You absolutely did it. Any I last like words you want to say before I let you go? I mean, if anyone's watching um, and maybe you're on social media and then you see all these big guys just doing big things, just know that behind the scenes that they're probably on their last thousand dollars. Don't give up on what you ultimately want to do and don't compare yourself to anyone else's journey. You have your own journey, your own book, your own chapter five. And uh, ultimately, like I said, if you guys have any questions, definitely DM me. I'm, I'm more than happy to help and be, you know, 
um, a mentor, a friend. I mean, just don't give up. I mean, I know it's cliche to say and everyone says it, but ultimately. No, don't give up. Yeah, people want to throw in the towel daily. Don't don't do that. Okay, and I'm gonna read the chat um really quickly. That's right. Salute to this guy right here. Huge shout out to him, Silos. Awesome interview. Thank you. Thank oh, you, thank Carlos, you. Carlos, Carlos, thank you very much, bro. Um, I appreciate everybody's you. Everybody's drop you got fire emojis, you got dollar sign emojis. Um, I have a few chat rooms open. And um, that's Thank dope. I, I love the support you're getting and everything. And I do support you. And I am rooting for you and your whole team. And hopefully one day I'll be part of that team. I love the no, grind. I respect the grind. Thank you so, so much. I just want to take the time and thank you. This is my first oh. official podcast. But uh, thank you very much for the opportunity. It means a lot to me. You know, first of many. And uh, good luck to oh, you yeah. and your success. And any, anything I can do. To help you out definitely you you know you already got that and uh i appreciate you sincerely thank you very much